This towel feels like a warm hug. But before we show you where we're staying, let's go to Haiti. So Mumbai is the financial capital of India, meaning that there's a lot of money in this city. So if you want to live the high life, you can definitely do that. And that's what we're going to try to do in this video with our semi-limited budget. So it took just over an hour to do 18 kilometers, but that is the reality of the traffic here in Mumbai. Uh, but we just made it to the Taj Mahal Palace, Palace, the most luxurious hotel in all of India. We wanted to stay here tonight, but like the cheapest room is like over a thousand dollars. So guess what? We're not staying here. Louis Vuitton will obviously make sense, but in here you have a ton of luxury brands and stores. It's crazy. Have you seen this place? I feel like I don't belong. Tracy? So, I'm slightly overwhelmed. There is so much here and everything looks fantastic. So it's self-serve, I guess, so it's like a buffet. And then, I guess tea, he asked if we wanted wine. I don't really know what's happening, I'm gonna be honest. But we're just gonna go with the flow. Sounds about right. So Tracy and I realized that uh, we actually didn't eat since uh, 6.50 this morning, and it's a good thing because there's a lot of food and it looks very good. Okay, so I did look online at like some of the drinks that they had, and I came across cold coffee, and I was like, oh, cold coffee. But no, they put some milk in it, and then they put ice cream in it. It tastes like I'm drinking a dessert. That is so freaking good. And I got masala chai because, well, I'm in India. Oh. Oh. Okay, so to be honest, we've seen these a lot, but we've never actually had them. So we'll see how this one goes. We've had these ones in Kenya. The other one, I don't know what it is. But all I know is that you pour this in it, I think. It's pretty good. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like the broth is supposed to be hot. I don't know. Tell me if I'm right or not. Life is all about the little pleasures, and I found a mini burger. That's pretty good. So when we arrived, they asked us if we wanted the tea now, and I was like, well, yeah, because we're coming here for high tea. I guess I should have waited because they just brought us champagne. Oh, and it's a good stuff. So we have the Maharaja option. And the chef just came to explain like the the amount that they just brought out. So basically it's food from like different states around India and that way you get to experience basically all the different states while staying in one place. Yeah, I have to be honest here, like this uh, multicolored white thing, there's like little pieces of something in it, but it's if I could describe it, it would be sweet wet cake and sour cream. Not my favorite. Not your favorite. I don't even know how to describe it. You look lost. I am lost. You're at the Taj Mahal Hotel. There's like a fruity, a cake, and a savory all in one. Mm. Like maybe like a fruit chutney on top, a sweet cake, and then crunchy bits. <laughs> I think. I don't know. We made a terrible mistake and that was to have two plates of food from the buffet because we didn't know if we were going to get those little uh, three platers thing. It's just not really explained. Yeah. So they just said, okay, you you can go to the buffet. And we're like, okay. So we went to the buffet <laughs> and we ate food. And then they brought us food. Now Great. I feel like those are going to keep coming. I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> so they needed a table for four, but kind of worked to our advantage because the table freed up by the window. And we have a beautiful view of the Gateway of India right now. That 
is by far the fanciest bathroom I've ever seen. Okay, so here is our honest review about the place. First of all, it's pretty expensive. Like at the end, it costed 10,720 rupees. It's like what? But the conversion up there, it's, it's pretty expensive. It so very I would expensive. say like, it is pretty good. The food at the buffet and everything was really good, but yeah. they brought to the table 50% good, 50% not for us. But that's just our preference yeah. too. Um, I think, to be honest, this is going to sound bad, but I just think it's way overpriced. Yeah. Um, if you want to experience the food culture, do a street food tour. Yeah. Because um, all the Indian food that they bring you during IT is not as tasty as what you would get on, on the street. No, and we've had some and of it yeah. on the street before. A, so lot like of reviews, is... a lot of reviews about this place online say that it's a must-do in Mumbai and blah, blah, blah. It's nice. If it's your thing, I would recommend yeah. it. Yeah. But it's definitely not nice. And like, we, don't get me wrong, like we like splurging every now and then, and that splurge just wasn't it no, for us. It wasn't worth it. No. Now let's but anyways, go, uh, if you want to do it, yeah, do it. Do it. Now let's go back but, to our hotel yeah. and show you how cool our hotel is too. The taxi stuck in traffic, but at least we have a very nice view of the Gay of India. That's pretty nice. So I did not realize how large this hotel was until we rolled up to it. Basically, yeah, there's tons of restaurants. Like, just from when you walk in, I can see four, and I'm sure there's more. Uh, there's a fitness center, there's a swimming pool, convention center, I believe, too. And yeah, a resi residency section of it as well. So I'm not really sure what type of room we have, to be honest. Um, this was a last minute book on Expedia. So <laughs> when you come in over here, you have a bathroom. I will say compared to the photos, the room is a lot bigger. Normally hotels try and make their photos and make the rooms look really big and then they end up being small. This was not the case in this one. Um, and then you come into the main room, you have a king size bed. See, look at all the space. We have a luggage area, TV, even a desk here, which is really nice because David transfers all of his footage at night so he can sit there. And then while he sits there, I can sit here. <laughs> so yeah, it's actually a beautiful room. Um, we do have a city view, which it's dark outside. I think the GoPro's going, you'll be able to see some of it here. Uh, but yeah, it's actually a very beautiful hotel. It is um, a better price, and I would say that because to get right downtown to like Marine Drive and everything where most stuff is, it's about an hour drive. Um, so with that, you have a bit of a decrease in price. So just something to keep in mind. Good morning. Good morning. It was so glorious because this morning was pretty much the only day in the trip that we didn't have to put an alarm on. That, that's fantastic. <laughs> now I'm hungry. Let's go see what they have for breakfast. Breakfast is really good. I would say probably one of the better breakfast buffets that we've been to, to be honest. Yeah, like that. In the first hotel was good. Yeah, it was really good, and like they had yeah. a lot of like different options, like a lot both of like Indian, Indian and both like and continental yeah. as well. So very impressed. We didn't eat too much because we're gonna have a big lunch. Yeah, that's gonna be the good stuff. <laughs> Time to check out. The guy at the bell service desk I also subscribed to the channel. Always appreciate it. Make sure you do the same. They told me filming with a camera is not allowed, so welcome to my iPhone vlog. Something we have noticed when you come shopping in India, and it's probably just a difference in customer service. That's I personally I hate, hate it. But it's just, but I, it, it's an extra service. I understand why they do it, but it's just 
I don't like we it. We like having our own space. As soon as you enter any store in India, somebody will start following you. And it, that person is just there yeah, to help. Yeah. Just in case you have any questions or anything, but yeah. it's just like, I would like the opposite. If I need help, I'll come and ask you. But please <laughs> stop following me. I have to say guys, like this is a very pretty mall. This is a nice Okay, so the mall is actually very nice. Like if you want to shop or whatever, they have all the international brand from like mm -hmm. American Eagle to Adidas to Gucci. I feel like you could find everything you need there, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. But now we have a reservation at one of the most hype restaurants in the moment in Mumbai, which is The Table. So this place is super cute. Um, they have a lot of good options. I'm kind of stuck between a few, but I think we're gonna treat ourselves and actually have a glass of wine too. Why not? It's, we're getting ready to go home and I don't wanna leave. So even though we're in Mumbai, this is not an Indian restaurant. It's more of an international cuisine kind of restaurant from Japan to Italy to North America. There's all kinds of stuff on the menu and it all looks very good. So I ordered a burger, I'm pretty excited. And one other thing that's really cool about this place is it's kind of a farm to table uh, concept as well. So almost all our ingredients are made here in India. Cheers. This is actually our first India wine. I didn't know that India made wine. It's not bad. It's very different than what I'm used to for like a traditional Sauvignon Blanc, but it's not bad either. So these are fresh, fresh out of the oven. Brioche buns. Wow. So for our appetizer, we got some truffle fries. These are probably some of the best truffle fries I've ever had in my life. Mm. And then we also got the burrata as well. Okay, so they said for this, to break open the focaccia and to put the piece of burrata inside, you gotta build this up. Probably put some salad in there too, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, but this meal is really hitting the spot because for us Canadian, we're kind of used to like very bland food compared to Indian food, and don't get me wrong, yeah, I like, still think that like Indian food is some of the best cuisine in the entire world. And when we say bland, like don't get me wrong, this has a ton of flavor, but that overwhelming spices and everything yeah. like that, um, I think by day 10, we were just ready to have something yeah. a little less and, spicy. And right now to have something like that, we're kind of, flavors that we're used to, yeah. like we're really appreciating this meal <laughs> a lot, a lot. Still love Indian food, I swear that. Yeah, yeah. So for mine, I got the Korean barbecue tacos. And they look so good. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't eat the full thing. First of you're, you're all, thank allowed. you so much for sharing. You're not allowed to eat the full thing. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. It's so good, eh? The meat is like so well seasoned. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. So for my main, I got the burger. First of all, I'm very happy that it comes with more truffle fries. Still very good. Second, our waiter called ketchup tomato jam, original. And basically in India, um, there's not a lot of like beef. I don't even know there is beef anywhere. So my, my burger is actually a buffalo uh, patty. And it's really good. Very oh, crunchy. Oh, yeah. Very good, thank very you so good. much. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so for dessert, we got the salted caramel ice cream sundae, and it comes with candied popcorn, peanut brittle, and hot fudge sauce. And we were instructed that you need to make sure that every bite has a little bit of everything to have the best effect. Wow. That is 
so good. Wow. At first race, said she was full and she didn't even want dessert. That's pretty good. <laughs> Is that good? Last bite, best bite? So the table, 10 out of 10, I would recommend. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Everything was good, especially Tracy's taco and the dessert at the end. Mwah. So original, so fun. Yeah, because I was expecting like just a sundae with like a little bit of sauce, you know yeah. what I mean? But no, that was fantastic. We're fan. Now it's time for us to go to the airport and we're going to see you guys there for final thoughts about India. We are now in Doha and it is the middle of the night and this is what's concluding the India series. Hence why I look like this. <laughs> I just had not been allowed so I'm like half asleep. So I think we did a pretty good job of making the most of our like eight, nine days that we had. Um, hitting the main highlights and the cities and everything. That being said, um, I knew this was a city trip and we need to come back to see like the small Outside of the city. Because this time we really discovered India through like Delhi and Mumbai yeah. through food and monuments. Yeah, 100%. Now I want to like leave the cities, maybe go do a tiger safari, go see mm. Jaipur, mm -hmm. you'll see the, the, the southern part of the country and everything. There's so much. India is a massive country. If you look at India on the map, it is massive. Yeah. So there's a lot to see. So definitely a country that deserves a second trip. One thing I do have to say is so we arrived straight in Delhi and it didn't help that we walked to our hotels so we had our bags and we were just packed as tourists. Um, Delhi I find different than Mumbai and Mumbai when you say no to people they just completely go away. Yeah, but completely. not the case in Delhi like they would just follow us and follow us and I feel really bad because I did end up putting my guard up of being like when people would approach me I immediately was kind of like short with them. Yeah. I do feel guilty about that I'm not gonna lie. Um, I guess I just wasn't really prepared. It's just because like as soon as we as soon as we arrived like we kind of got harassed a little bit yeah. but like I would say like overall most of our interaction with uh, with people oh, were yeah, like yeah. so positive people legit, legit interested in where we were from yeah. what we were doing the YouTube thing I never yeah, I, I never gained that many subscribers since I started just YouTube by walking, by walking around with a camera just people like genuinely interested yeah. in everything that was super cool and so. like while we say that like don't get me wrong I never felt threatened or anything oh, not like at that all. like not I just want to put that out there like good people I still felt safe everything like that yeah. um, but just something worth noting I think yeah so overall um, a great yeah. trip I can't wait to go back and well I guess uh, until then see you guys <laughs> in the next one in Nairobi <laughs>